Good morning, Dean. How are you this morning? Hi, Daniel. Good, thanks. We've got a nice batch of about 60 samples here for you to analyse. Um, I'd like you to do total nitrogen on these samples, and it would be good um, if you can do it uh, fairly quickly. What sort of time do you think it would take? It would take about three weeks. Uh, yeah, is that uh, all right? Yeah, that's excellent. OK, I'll see you later. See you. My name is Duyang Pham, and I'm a lab technician. My major task is providing chemical analytical service to research staff of forestry and forest products division in WA. I liaise with scientific staff when they register samples to understand clearly their requirement. Then I have to decide the most effective methods to achieve what is being asked. Most of the time, I use methods that are well established and are in use in many other labs across Australia and the world. But sometimes I need to modify and adapt new methods. If there are special analytical requirements, I have regular contact with technicians in many labs around Australia, so they are good resource for helping me tackle problems. Shelley and Stan, uh, could you please uh, do in digest for total nitrogen, Stan? Mm -hmm. And uh, Shirley uh, doing the extra uh, as the last time. I manage the lab, which and means I have to coordinate the staff resource so uh, with the analytical the requirements. We sit down together and generate a working plan. It can get hectic at the busy times. We take lots of care, both with our staff and with our samples. One of the most important things is occupational health and safety as we are dealing with many potential chemical, electrical, and mechanical handling hazards. Another important thing is quality control. As the researchers rely on the results to be accurate and repeatable. They look, uh, they look good, Stan. Yeah, so. the color nice. reaction, yeah. Nice. We got the right color there. Yeah. Nice and clear. A research project usually takes three to five years, and thousands of analyses are done along the way. The analysis I am running now is to determine the total nitrogen in soil samples to improve eucalypt plantation productivity through the management of soil organic matter and nutrients. Most of the equipment in this lab is computerized. This one is a flow injection auto-analyzer, which is based on chemical reaction, which generate a color, the intensity of which is related to the concentration within the sample. The results are sent to the computer and I check them to make sure that they are in the expected range. If they seem okay, I calculate and collect the final data on the computer spreadsheet before distributing to research staff who are going to use the results in their studies. Sometimes you get a result that is not what you expected. It is unpredictable, just like life. I was studying to be a lawyer in Vietnam, but escaped in 1983 to come to Australia as a refugee. I had always wanted to do something with a white lab coat, so I did diploma in biochemistry at TEF. Hello, Daniel. Oh, hi, Tim. How's it going? Good, thanks. I got some total nitrogen resort here for you, oh, Daniel. Okay, yeah. Let's have a look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. I'll have a look at these numbers when uh, when I'm ready for writing up my report in the next couple of weeks. How's yeah. that? Good. Thanks a lot for that.
In this job, you are part of a large team where each person plays an integral role and contributes to the achievements and outputs of the team. I love science. I love my job as it's trained me to be a perfectionist. Small mistakes can create large problems in the future. I like to think people can give me a work to do and know it is in good hands.